Painters use paint. Cinematographers use light. You, as a public speaker, have language. Public speaking is an art, and you, the speaker, have language as your paint. Keep in mind that by definition, language is not always spoken. It can be written, or it is derived from your body. So think of your body as the canvas, the words you choose as an outlining pencil, and the words as they are perceived by your audience as the various colors of paint. To optimize this process, you are going to use concrete language with conviction and project that conviction with your body. Concrete language identifies with tangible things. It stimulates your audience's senses by giving them insight into what it's like to perceive something. Abstract language is often used to refer to intangible things, such as truth or God or love. But if you stick to the abstract side of things the entire time, you'll leave your audience with nothing but a headache. Vivid imagery is best used to bring your audience out of the world that they're in and into one that you design. It's kind of like the movie Inception, but without anybody falling asleep, hopefully. Paint a picture in your audience's mind. Doing this draws them into your world and allows you to access their emotions. Effective language illustrates passion with your conviction. To do this, you'll follow three steps. Step one, get into your subject. Do everything to immerse yourself in your material and convince yourself as you intend to convince your audience. Step two is to show that you're into your passion. Nobody cares how much you know unless they know how much you care. Step three is to let your audience get into the subject. Leave your audience caring as much about your material as you do. The language you choose enables you to do all of these things. Make sure to enunciate by taking pride in every word. Say what you mean by being original and avoiding cliches at all costs. Simplify your language to put your listeners' efforts into analyzing your thoughts, not your words. Avoid obsessive me-centered wording. Your message should be all about your audience. That's why they're listening to you. To review, remember that public speaking is an art form. Language is your color palette. Use concrete language and make your conviction contagious. To do this, make sure to enunciate, say what you mean, simplify your language, and keep it all about the people that are listening to you.